Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Dr. Jewel, and today we're going to show you how to make a starter base. So, let's just get straight into it. We're going to start off with a 3x3. So, we're going to go ahead and we are going to just adjust this. And you can adjust the height by locking it and dragging your mouse down. I just want to get it a little bit more mesh with the floor there. So, we're going to go ahead get a 3x3, three three, like I said. We're going to go ahead, obviously, turn this into a wall here. And then we're just going to go all the way around here. Right. Now, this is going to be a very, very um, short guide. It's also going to be a quick starter base. And this is meant for people who are kind of just lost on exactly what they want their, you know, exactly the, the things they need in their base, right? Some people know how to make a pretty base, but they kind of forget, like, what the ne necessities are, right? So that's kind of what this guide aims to do. It kind of aims to just help with, you know, I'm gonna leave this hole in the roof here just so it has a little bit more lighting, but normally you'll cover that up. So, um, just for the video purposes, anyways, I wanna have that. So, first things first, we're gonna disable snapping. We're gonna go to full alignment mode, push this all the way to the wall, push it to the side, make sure there's no wiggle room. And then we're just going to place two of these down. I'm going to place down a smithy. Do the same thing. Make sure it's right against the wall there. And then we are going to put a table here. Next thing's next. I'm going to throw down more vessels. I personally do three. You guys should stick with one or two if you feel the need to do that. But I would personally suggest doing You have your smelting, your, you know, making of the tools, and then you have your mortar and pestles there, right? Next thing's next is you're probably going to need a spot to put your, you know, your spoiled meat and to start getting working on prime, uh, prime meat jerky and your just normal cooked meat jerky, right? So we're going to go ahead and make a little cooking area here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bed down. Let's just rotate this so it looks a little bit nicer. Then we're gonna go ahead with some large storages here. Just realized that is a bookshelf. Let's go ahead and rotate that large storage box. Then we can enable snapping just to make sure our storages look really nice. And uh, yeah, there you go. Like I said, I wanted to keep it nice and simple. So this is as simple as it's gonna get, right? Come in here, you have access to all your kind of primitive crafting stations. You have a uh, place to store your food, your prime meat and make jerky. You have a place to cook your food, you have your storage. And that's kind of all you really need at the start here, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to work on some slight detailing work on the outside here. So let's go ahead and look for a reinforced door here. Now, I forgot to mention this, but you guys do not, you really don't have to go with um, stone. You could, you could, you know, settle for wood. All right, guys. And now that I've shown you just what to do for the basics, right? Just to get your whole base set up on the inside with all of the necessities, the crafting stations. Um, you can go ahead, you can design this however you want, obviously. Um, you know, you can do something crazy like this if you want. You know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day as long as you have that kind of main structure in the middle with all of your, you know, early game crafting stations and uh, utilities that you're gonna need, right? So. That is kind of a basic overview of a starter base that you could kind of just base your own design on. These build guides I'm making are not necessarily supposed to be one for ones. I'll let the pros like Aaron Lonstaff and, you know, other, you know, big builders like that do that, the heavy lifting for me. But for you guys, uh, just a simple, nice, quick guide just to show you exactly what structures you kind of are going to need. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.